Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're infusing moonshine with cherries. So we're going to make some cherry bounce with cinnamon and with pecans. We're going to do this as a test, see how it turns out. Happen to come across some good moonshine. You know it's good because this is how you test this stuff. If it burns with a blue flame, you're good. See that blue flame right there? Oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's blue flame. Yo, that's hot. So, good moonshine, blue flame. Means you can drink it. Red flame or orange flame, don't drink that stuff. It'll kill you. Well, it might not kill you, but you go blind. All kinds of other things. So we have cherries, cinnamon, pecans, I only have a quart of this stuff, so quart divided by three is just over a couple piece. So we we'll measure this stuff out. One cup in the pecans. And then we're gonna divide up the rest. One cup in the cinnamon. It just doesn't seem like the same, but they are different size containers. And one cup in the cherry. It just doesn't seem right here. Let's put a little more in the cinnamon, a little more in the pecan, even this out. Top up the cherry. All right, so we got that divided all up. We'll put some lids on these. And let's go shake them. We're gonna leave these for two weeks. Look at that cherry. Ooh, that looks tasty. Okay, we're gonna leave these for two weeks. Probably gonna shake them a little every day. And at the end of two weeks, we're going to pour these through a coffee filter to filter out the chunks. Then we're gonna have some good taste in pecans. The cinnamon, I think we're just gonna discard. And the cherries, oh yeah, we're gonna eat those too. So, we'll check back. I'm gonna shake them every day. We'll check back in two weeks and uh, we'll filter them and taste them. The most important part tasting so we'll see you in a little bit remember please like my video subscribe to my channel click the little bell you'll get notifications when I post new videos and leave me a comment I'll uh, get back to you so thanks for stopping by appreciate your support hey everybody I'm back and I apologize I was gonna let this set for two weeks it's been almost a month so uh, hopefully better flavor but we're gonna find out so if you remember we had cinnamon we had cherry and we had pecan and we're gonna filter these I don't know how well this is gonna go through the filters so we're just gonna kind of experiment and see how it goes so I'm gonna give this one last shake here of the cinnamon hmm that smells good I guess we'll keep that going as it filters down there because we're trying to filter out all the chunks so it's gonna have to go a little bit slower so we got the cherry and the pecan so the pecan smells pretty good the cherry smells pretty good too so I have the filter down into uh, whoa 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 I have the filter down in a measuring cup here because I want to. I don't know how this is going to work with all these cherries. So hopefully that'll filter through and I can actually pour a little here. There we go. So we're going to have to keep this keep this filter up. Add a little more on the cinnamon. 
let's get the pecan started. So these are filtering. I don't know. Like like I said, I don't know how good this filter is going to go here. I'm not going to make you wait for this whole thing. So we might uh, skip ahead and get to the best part, which is the filtering and the tasting. The cinnamon seems to be pretty good right here. This is filtering good. So we may end up doing the same with the, uh, the pecan, but there's a lot of pecans. So if I kind of do it this way, not sure that'll fill up and I'm not sure it'll drain very well and plug up the filter. So we'll get this drained and we'll be back just a minute when this draining's all done. So, and then we'll get to tasting. Okay, I'm glad I didn't make you wait for all that because that filtering took me <laughs> 30 minutes. So uh, I have the cinnamon, I have the cherry, and the pecan all filtered. So basically what we're gonna do is I want to taste the pecans first, actually. These are soggy. Probably ought to dry these out somewhere, maybe in the oven. Mmm. Tastes like a uh, soggy pecan, but it's got some uh, moonshine back end flavor on there, so it's not too bad. If I uh, stick those on a cookie sheet in the oven, they might turn out pretty darn good. So let's take a little taste here. So. drink too much of this I'll be going nighty night I'm gonna say the pecan did not add a ton of flavor to the moonshine I would say the moonshine added more flavor to the pecan at this point so all right let's try the cherry here the cherry That is a, uh, that's definitely a moonshine flavored cherry. There's not a ton of cherry flavor in that. So let's actually taste the cherry moonshine. It smells good. Mm, I think the cherry added a little bit of flavor to that. That's, uh, that's pretty tasty. So last but not least we threw the cinnamon pieces away we're not going to eat those but we are going to taste the cinnamon moonshine mm. actually i think the cinnamon turned out the best that has a pretty good cinnamon flavor it's not sweet it's kind of like um it's kind of like fireball without the sugar so very cinnamony moonshine so I think I have the three of them. I like the cinnamon the best, but um, the cherry did add a little bit of flavor to the moonshine. I don't know that the pecan added too much flavor here, but the moonshine definitely added flavor to the pecan. So um, that's where we're at. I would say overall pretty good success because it's still moonshine. It's just flavored now. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check back for more videos. Okay, so I had to add this. So I've taken the pecans, I put them in a frying pan with some butter and some monk fruit because I'm trying to keep this keto type friendly. And uh, monk fruit sweetener. Hmm. Oh yeah, those are amazing. The diff. The difference in flavor is amazing because they don't taste like moonshine anymore. They taste more like buttery, butter roasted pecans. They're actually I'm probably gonna eat this whole thing tonight. I probably should find a spot on the couch because holy cow, there's some moonshine infusion in there, and these are basically butter roasted pecans with a little monk fruit. So. You get the sugar feel, but it's really not uh, high carb. So keto friendly butter roasted pecans infused. And apparently it was her idea. So again, thanks for tuning in.